Hello and welcome to Web Automation. My name is Victor and I will take you through how to set up your first predefined extractor. Predefined extractors, or as we call them PDEs, are pre-built web scrapers that can be used to scrape some of the most popular websites in the world. As the scrapers are already pre-built, there is no need to build or write any code, which makes it very easy to start getting data in just a few minutes. For this particular example, I'm going to be scraping Amazon products as an example. So what you need to do is first to head over to our marketplace, um, which has a collection of all our predefined extractors. And this number is growing every day. So the first thing you can do is you can filter with different tags to find out which extractors you might want by country, by use case, by category, or you can just do a search in, in the search bar. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Amazon. And then I get a lot of Amazon scrapers for different use cases. But for, th for this particular use case, we're going to use the Amazon department product scraper. And going into the product scraper, you can see a lot more information about what you're going to get, what information you can use, what steps to follow, how to get the URLs to copy, even as an explainer video, um, basically everything you would need um, to get you started. And you can even see some sample data in JSON or as a CSV to understand if this is the scraper you need. But we're going to go ahead and dive in and use for free. And this will take you into the web automation in-app where you get some more readme information if you wanted to understand what to do. Uh, but you can go ahead and just confirm you want to go ahead and activate the scraper. Once that's activated, the only thing you need to do with this particular scraper is to update the starter URL. And the starter URL is essentially a search page from the websites you want to scrape. So if I go into Amazon, I've already done a search for iPhone 12 and I've done some filters and I've got 52 results. All I need to do is copy this URL, go back into Web Automation and update this. Once I've updated, all I need to do is press the big run now button. And there we go, we're off. Now your scraper is gonna run uh, for a few minutes um, to get that data. Once it's completed, you see the complete button and then you'd have the option to download in different file formats. And then your data is ready to be used. So I'll stop here for now. Um, you can check out our other videos to see some other exciting features you can use on web automation, like scheduling your tasks or using our API or integrating with um, so many different options. So thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have any questions or comments uh, by just chatting to us on the chat box or sending us an email. Thank you very much. And I'll see you at the next video. Happy using web automation.